Hey everybody, welcome to the Take Back Your Life 40 Day Challenge. Um, this is built on the book that Levi Lusco uh, put out this year. It's called Take Back Your Life. Uh, I have my copy right here. I hope you have a copy. If you don't have one, uh, we can certainly help you find one. Uh, you can also get it in an audio version, which April has, and audible.com, right? That's right. So get the book, follow along, um, and we're going we're gonna to finish out 2020 on a strong note, just sort of like we did last year, and we're going to get prepared to, uh, to hopefully create some new habits in our lives as we head into 2021. But Take Back Your Life uh, is a collection of stories that Pastor Levi had left over from a couple of other books that he had written. He wrote uh, Through the Eyes of a Lion, uh, which is the story the, of his daughter Linya uh, going to heaven and sort of how they came through that as a family. It's an outstanding book. Uh, he, the other parts of it come from a book that he released, I think in 2019, that was uh, I Declare War, which is becoming a, a better version of yourself uh, or, or battling against, or declaring war against the version of yourself that you don't wanna be. That was a lot. <laughs> so uh, this book is broken up into 40 days that we can use it to take back our lives. And so we're gonna head through this. Uh, we've already done it once, and so we thought we would join in with you guys and do it through the end of the year. So um, let's jump right in. The forward of the book is him talking about the building of the Panama Canal. That's right. So in the building of the Panama Canal, he uses that opportunity to help us get the tone of the book that we are going to replace what we think we know with what God is trying to tell us. Mm -hmm. And he talks about all of the deaths through the Panama Canal construction. There was a little over 25,000 people that perished in that endeavor. And they, a lot of them were from malaria and yellow fever. Yellow fever. And they believed that it was ants that were the ones that were the culprits that were what do you call it um the tra the passing of it the um they were the ones that were oh transmission trans yeah so they're the ones that are giving it whenever actually it was mosquitoes and so everything they were doing to keep the transmission from happening with the ants was actually causing the mosquitoes to come and causing the disease to run rampant. And then once they realized that it was the mosquitoes and they took different measures to actually fend off the actual problem, they lost significantly less people, so. Yeah, once they figured out not to set the beds in pans of water um, and that to put some screens on the windows, they ended up going from, I think he said in the first, um, it was a 30 year project. In the first 20 years, they had lost about 20,000 lives. And then in the last 10 years, they only lost 5,000 lives, I think, total. It might have been 3,000. Don't quote me. It's, it's in the book. But basically, uh, the foreword just tells us that we're, we're going uh, to try and focus on the things that are actually holding us back, the things that we focus on that uh, cause us to trip up. And so we're going to take back our lives from those things. And the, starting on day one, we talk about things that are hidden in plain sight. Uh, Pastor Levi starts with talking about James Whitey Bulger. He's a Boston crime boss that went on the run and was on the run for about 16 years before he was caught in 2001. And was guy was hiding in plain sight in Santa Monica, California. So uh, the people that lived around him described him, him and his girlfriend as a normal couple and they just they like cats i think that was the only drawback yeah i had no idea who he really was yeah and anybody that likes cats especially an indoor cat has <laughs> got to have something wrong with them anyway uh, but the verse that goes along with today's uh, today's reading is second corinthians 5 7 we walk by faith and not by sight and uh, he says for the things that we see now will soon be gone but the things we cannot see will last forever. And he talks about it in here that, truth be told, we walk around oblivious to much of what's going on. We click our pictures, double click on Instagram, scroll, scroll, double click, scroll, scroll, double click. 
And then it says, we have no idea much of the time who and what is watching us and what is actually happening. There is a whole spiritual realm with very serious things going on. There is a whole eternity ahead of us. There is life after death. There is an actual all-out war going on all around us, a war for our hearts, lives, and souls. But we can't see it because we've got a blind spot, and that blind spot is taking our lives from us. So what we're hoping to do over the next 40 days is be able to open our eyes to the spiritual warfare that's going on around us, right? That's right. And the scripture that it made me think of today, of was telling Rockford, was 2 Kings 6, starting at verse 15. When the servant of the man of God got up and went out early the next morning, an army of horses and chariots had surrounded the city. Oh no, my Lord, what shall we do? The servant asked. Don't be afraid, the prophet answered. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. And Elijah prayed, Open his eyes, Lord, so that he may see. Then the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and he looked and saw a hill full of horses and chariots of fire all around Elisha. So we're hoping that over the 40 days that God will open our eyes to see those that are with us, because the enemy has no problem showing us those who are against us whenever that's what's right in front of us, and we're focusing on it. So we're hoping to stop focusing on the ants and start looking to see what actually is there. Mm -hmm. At the end of each day, there's some questions in the book. I would challenge you to actually get a piece of paper, uh, or maybe if you actually have the book in the margins of the book, write down the answers. Uh, if you have a journal, write down the answers to these questions because you'll you'll inevitably, at the end of the book, you're gonna have to start going back and referencing some of the questions that were asked earlier. So I wanna make sure that you have the ability to go back and, and to look at them. So. Uh, to finish out for today, one of the things that, that it asks us is, how would you describe the story of your life right now? Um, and so be honest with yourself about what you see yourself doing, where you see yourself re in reality. Um, you know, for, for me right now, I struggle some with my faith. I struggle with the fact that I hear a lot of things and I believe a lot of things about what God's called me to do. I don't act on them very quickly, for sure. Um, I'm much more of a, of a thinker and a planner, and so I'm, I'm very reluctant to just go, okay, so I'm gonna hop out into the very next thing. So uh, be honest with yourself about where you are. Mm -hmm. Yep. And if you have the audio version, you're not going to have that, it's not gonna read you those questions. You're actually gonna have to get the PDF, download it, and either just have it on your phone or print it out so you'll be able to write it. And the overarching question to finish out the day today is what do you need to take your, what do you need to take back your life from? So begin to think along those lines and over the next 40 days, we will see where God takes this and, and hopefully you and hopefully we will learn something about ourselves and be able to take our lives back as we step into 2021. So we've got 40 days mm -hmm. and so it's going to be exciting. I can't believe there's only 40 days left in the year. I know, right? Yeah, that means like, what, 35 days to Christmas? Yeah, something like that. I'm going to add in really quickly to one of the things that Pastor Stephen has been talking about in this pandemic time is asking good questions of God. And if you're not real certain what you need to take your life back from, that would be where I would start. In your prayer time, I would be asking God what it is that you need to start to cut out and then just be still and listen. All right. So today, day one, a little bit short. It's going up on YouTube a little bit late just due to some communication issues with us. And just, you know, we got we to gotta get back into the swing of this thing. So uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Uh, day two should be up at about 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, and then each day following that, they should be up about that same period, about 8 o'clock uh, Central Standard Time. Each morning, you can watch it in the morning, you can watch it in the evening, but we want you to follow along with the journey. Again, take back your life. If you can't find it, uh, shoot us a, a comment at the bottom. If you want to keep up with this, subscribe to the channel, obviously. And if you want to get alerted every morning whenever they go live, make sure you click the bell. And that way you'll get a notification whenever they go uh, they go live and they premiere on YouTube. So 
We're looking forward to it. In 40 days. It'll be over before you know it. And we hope that you guys will come along with us the whole time. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.